Hi guys, this is George back here with another vlog and today I'm here at Chessington World of Adventures and it's a very special day today because today is the opening day of the World of Jumanji, the largest expansion ever here at Chessington and there's three brand new rides to experience in this area. Two flat rides manufactured by SBF Visa and the standout attraction is a B&M launched shuttle wing coaster which I can't wait to go on. It's something very unique. It's B&M's first shuttle coaster and it's also one of only a few B&M coasters to feature launches. So yeah, I'm very excited to ride. It's a very unique ride. I'm heading over to the area now. I've got my time slot for Mandrel Mayhem. So Mandrel Mayhem is operating on a virtual queue system. I'll talk more about that when I get down there, but that's to help with the capacity of it because it can only one run truck, one train. So it's not gonna have the best throughputs on this ride. So they're doing their best to try and make sure that they can get as many people through on the ride as much as possible. So I'll talk more about how that works when I get down to the area. Jumanji, you can see Mandrel Mayhem down there. Oh wow, this is actually the first time I've seen Mandrel Mayhem running. Because I came here twice to hopefully see it testing, but unfortunately I was spited. Both times I said, oh my god, it's got a massive queue. Okay, do you know what? I might get on one of the flat rides before I join this queue. Because that is absolutely mad. But there we go. I'm so excited to ride this coast. That is amazing to finally be inside this area. It doesn't feel right to be in here. Here we go, we've got an amazing photo opportunity here. With the World of Jumanji sign down there. And the coast is there as well. Oh my God, I'm so excited for this. The audio is fantastic as well around here. It's really loud. Oh wow. I'm so excited. Here we go. And there's the entrance to Mandrel Mayhem. It's got a huge queue. In fact, you know what? It's not actually that big. It's just a lot of people walking through. However, I have still got 10 minutes before I can join. And once uh, the countdown comes to the end, you have 45 minutes before your reservation will be wiped. So here we go. I'll talk a bit more about this queue now. So as I mentioned on the way down here, sort that out. As I mentioned here on the way down here, Mandrel Mayhem is operating on a virtual queuing system. The throughputs on this ride are not going to be good because it's only on what, running one train. Obviously because it's a shuttle coaster, it can only run the one train and it hasn't got a second station. So, with this ride, there are QR codes around the park which you can scan or you can use the app as well and go onto the reserve and ride on the app and that's where the queue time will be, the queue will be. You need to get there for 9.45, that's when it gets released, 9.45 the day but on your visit, uh, you go on the reserve and ride app, uh, section on the app and then you can cl click to book the queue for Mandrel Mayhem, you then put in how many people you want and then it sorts it all out for you, it'll then give you a countdown timer uh, until you can enter the attraction and then once that countdown has come to the end it will give you 45 minutes to get on the ride before your reservation will then be wiped and you'll have to make a new one if you want to get on the coaster at the moment you can only ride the coaster once per day uh, depending on how many devices you have if you're here with a second person and you have to, uh, you both have a phone then obviously you can try and book it one uh, book it twice but uh, if you only have one phone you're only gonna get on it once throughout the day so hopefully I'll be able to find someone later today that I can maybe uh, book on with them and maybe get a second ride but I'm not too sure at the moment but hopefully that will be able to happen. bizarre area of course this is inspired by the section on the first of uh, the newer Jumanji films where they go into the bizarre area and then of course you've got the Mamba Strike here at the end of the film. First ride on it! Oh wow! Did you like it? Did you enjoy it? Yeah. And then also when it opened we were there and we just got on it. Oh wow that's very lucky. It's amazing back row is the best. Back row okay thank you thank you. Here we go, so here's a look at Mamba Strike, SBF Visa Miami ride. This looks a bit more aggressive than I was expecting it to, to be honest. I was expecting it to be quite a tame one. 
but it actually looks quite good. What's the queue time? I'm 15 minutes. Do you know what? I'll go and get in the queue for this because I've still got about 15 minutes until I can get on Mandrel Mayhem. So I'm going to go for a ride on this and then I'll get in the queue for Mandrel Mayhem once it's hopefully died down a little bit. But I really like this area. Of course, you've got the bizarre area there. Uh, where they go and then of course they need to try and ch charm the mamba when it, in the film to get the final piece of the map yeah i watched the jumanji films recently i watched the original a very long time ago the two newer ones i only watched them a couple weeks ago because i wanted to get an idea of what the films were like before i came and saw this area and yeah i understand this area a lot more now at first i was really confused as to why they put um mandrel mayhem with the ja around the jaguar shrine because the jaguar is in the first film and the mandrels are in the second but now i can see that they clearly wanted to do a bit of a mix of all of the movies and put it all together but here we go let's get in the queue for mamba strike So I've just had a ride there on Mamba Strike and I quite enjoyed that actually. The key to that one is that it's a bit tamer than the ones you see on the funfair circuit so it doesn't spin round as fast. When they spin round really fast I find them a bit, bit uncomfortable. However that one, that one's bearable. I quite enjoyed that to be honest. It wasn't the most comfortable of rides however it was okay and I did quite enjoy it. My time slot is now ready for Mandrel Mayhem so I'm going to go and get in the queue. It looks absolutely giant at the moment. I think I'm going to be in here for a while. Dispatches have been slow from what I've seen so far on this ride. However, I can't wait to get on it. I think I'm going to be in this queue for a while, but let's go for a ride on Mandrel Mayhem. So I'm in the queue for Mandrel Mayhem now. It's absolutely huge. As you can see, it goes all the way over here. So we're going all down here, all around there, over to the station over there. As you can see, we've got all these different boards which show all the characters' strengths and weaknesses, just like from in the film, which I really, really like. So I'll show you more of them as we get further around. But yeah, there we go. Some great views of the Jaguar there. Oh, it looks so impressive, doesn't it? I can't wait to go on this. And I've just noticed there's a mist effect coming out of the Jaguar's mouth as well. So I like that. It's all these little details with this area. And I noticed as well when I was on Mamba Strike that the operators and the staff around the area are wearing jungle outfits. So I really like that. It just adds to the immersion of the area, which I really like. see there's one of the boards there with the character's weaknesses so this is Kevin Hart's character here I've just gone on the reserve and ride app to see if the how long the virtual queue is and I've actually been able to book another slot so I don't know if I'm going to be able to actually use it because from what I'd heard you're only going to be allowed to go on the ride once during your visit however I have booked another slot for in an hour and 15 minutes so I'm not sure what's going on with that. I imagine something's just broken. They're just fixing stuff as it is the opening day. It's the first time they're using this system here at Chessington. So there are going to be a few flaws with it at first. So I wonder if that's what it is. But oh well, I'm not complaining. I, hopefully I can get as many rides as I can on this today. Just ride Mandrel Mayhem, and here's a little bit look at the merch before I talk about the actual ride experience. Here's some of the stuff around here. T-shirts and hoodies over here. Here we go. These shirts here are really nice. I like that. It's not the kind of thing I'd wear, but I do like that a lot. Something else I really like. These mugs here, absolutely brilliant. Fifteen pounds for these. I'll definitely be buying one of them. Really, really nice. We've got another mug down here. The board game there as well from the original film, of course. That's brilliant. Really, really like that. On board photos are just over there. I won't show them. <laughs> and then, of course, over here in the bazaar, you've got all your different games. You've got the claw machine over here. These fit in absolutely beautifully. The theming around this bazaar area is fantastic. And these games fit in perfectly. Lots of roaming uh, actors as well, which I really, really like. Mamstri looks like it's testing there. It's gone down. Oh dear, I'm glad I got on this one, I did. There's a bit of footage of it. Yeah, hopefully that will reopen soon. I'll probably do that again later. I've got about another hour to go 
until my next ride on Mandrill Mayhem. I can't believe I was able to get a second slot. That's really lucky. I don't know if they've changed things and you can ride in more times or if it's just something going wrong, but either way, I'm not complaining. I was on the third row on the left side, if you're looking at, on the right side, sorry, if you're looking at it from in front of the station. So here we go. Mandrill Mayhem. Really, really enjoyed that. It was a good fun family coaster, of course. It's a family thrill coaster, so don't go in expecting something absolutely insane. Don't go in expecting a swarm, because it's not as intense as the swarm at Thorpe Park. However, it is such a fun roller coaster. I really, really enjoyed that. The launches are quite snappy. The inversion's great with some great hang time. And going around that uh, helix over there was insane. Just like go going at that angle, suspended there, was absolutely insane. It was an incredible feeling, a feeling that you don't really get on many other roller coasters. I really, really enjoyed Magical Mayhem. It's got a little bit of a rattle to it. It's not the smoothest of coasters, which I was a bit surprised about considering it is brand new. However, I don't know if that's just the thing. I've heard it's a bit smoother on the inside seat and I was on the wing seat, so I was on the outer seat. So uh, yeah, maybe it'll be a bit smoother on the inside, but it's nothing to be concerned about. It's not uncomfortable at all. It's, it's just a really, really good coaster. The restraints do ruin it a little bit. I don't like the vest harnesses at all. However, I absolutely love the coaster. Really, really enjoyable. Definitely my favorite ride here at Chessington and I can't wait to have another ride on it later. advertised as a 30 minute queue but yeah I've still got a while until my uh, next ride on Mandrill Mayhem so I'll give, it, I'll give it a go this is an SVF Visa frog jump ride but it's a park model so of course this one's not a temporary ride uh, unlike the ones you'll see at the fun fair hello <laughs> there we go one other thing I wanted to point out about Mandrill Mayhem is how fast the queue moves I was in the queue for about 25 minutes, so it moved quicker than I thought it would do. However, it's obviously not ideal for a park that gets big crowds like Chessington. But overall, it's not as bad as I was expecting, so there we go. I'll, I'll see what it's like later when I go for my second ride on it. But it looks incredible. It's one of the most visually ple pleasing coasters in the UK, in my opinion. It looks amazing. So I just rode Ostrich Stampede, the final ride I needed to ride in this area, and it was quite good that, it was a short cycle, however, when you were on there, it was a good fun ride, you got a little pop of air time on there as well, it's really good fun, I really enjoy those types of rides, and I'm glad to see they've got a permanent one here in World of Jumanji, and it's great to see permanent flat rides coming into this area, some Merlin parks in particular could learn from that, old towers. As you can see, I'm now trying to balance on this thing to get round. There we go. <laughs> right, so I've got 10 minutes until I can enter the queue for Mandrill Mayhem. So I'm just gonna walk around the area for a little bit, take it all in, have a look at some of the theming around and get some more footage. So here's a cool Easter egg over at these petrol pumps here. As you can see, you've got 2017 in there, which is the year that the first of the new Jumanji films was released, Welcome to the Jungle. And then 2019, which is when the next level was released. So there we go. I do like that. There's a good uh, Easter egg in this queue line here with this truck as well. The number plate says Genesis on it. And of course, the roller coaster, Mandrel Mayhem, was originally Project Genesis before its uh, official name was announced. So, yeah, there's lots of Easter eggs around to be seen in this area.
was on the other side this time, so if you're looking at it from the front of the station, then I was on the left side, the side where you cross over uh, the track uh, to get on. Yeah, it was a little bit rougher that side, actually. It was quite jolty on the wing on that side. However, it's still absolutely amazing. It's so much fun. I just can't help but smile the whole way around. Such a good fun roller coaster. Really, really do enjoy it. I'm going to head out of the world of Jumanji now and go ahead on some of the other rides here at the park, and then I'll come back here later because as I joined the queue for Mountain Mayhem Just, I was able to get another reservation. So I'm going on again in about an hour. So there we go. I'm going to go and get on some other rides, and then I'll be back here then to come and get my third ride on this fantastic coaster. And hopefully this time I'll actually be able to get in the back as well. So I just had a ride there on Rattlesnake, a Mac bobsled coaster here at Chessington. And it was okay. It's I'm not too big of a fan of those wild mouse coasters. Uh, they jerk you into the side. Not too big of a fan of them. And the braking on there is really sharp as well. There's some really sharp brakes on there, which does make it quite uncomfortable. However, it is one of the better one of those that I have been on. It doesn't slam you into the corners too hard. Here's a bit of an update now on Scorpion Express. This was supposed to open in April. However, obviously it's mid-May now, and we've still not heard anything. The audio's on and the train is on the track there as you can see. This ride's been down for nearly a year now. Of course last summer there was an incident on here. Something got set on fire, I'm not 100% sure what, but it caused the ride to close down and it's been closed ever since then so hopefully it won't be too long until this is back open. I've only done it once. It's nearly the same layout as Flying Fish at Thorpe Park. It's a bit shorter though. It's definitely better themed though. And that's the same with um, Rattlesnake as well. Really good theming on there as well. It's the theming that kind of makes that ride for me. And it was only a short queue as well. I only waited about 15, 20 minutes for it. Normally it has a massive queue, so I don't do it very often. But as it was a short queue, I thought I'd do it this time. I'm now going to head over to Croc Drop and go for a ride on there. And then it's probably going to be about time for me to go back to World of Jumanji and get back on Mandrill Mayhem. I walked right on to Croc Drop there, which is really, really good. Uh, yeah, straight on. It's a good ride. I do like Croc Drop. You get some great views from the top. The spinning wasn't working, though, unfortunately. That's the first time I've been on it when the spinning wasn't working. Uh, so, yeah, that was interesting. But I did have a great view of Scorpion Express. Oh, gosh, there's a lot of people around here. Here we go. Back into World of Jumanji now to go for a third ride on Mandrill Mayhem, as you can see here. I like this. This is from the original Jumanji film with the board game. They're game for those who seek to find a way to leave their world behind. I like that. We've got a map of the area just here as well, and there's an activity trail here as well. So there'll be little cards or something in here, which you can take and go and do all the puzzles around the area, which I really like. Ostrich stampede over there. What well, the queues that advertised that now? 30 minutes. Yeah, it was a big. It was advertised 30 minutes when I joined earlier. It was probably a little bit longer than that because they're dispatching it really slowly. Honestly, dispatches on Ostrich Stampede are worse than on Mandrill Mayhem. Mandrill Mayhem is better than I thought it was going to be. This is worse. Although once you do get the people on there, it does eat up the queue quite quickly. But they're just taking about five minutes to dispatch it for some reason. Here we go. Third ride of the day on Mandrill Mayhem. Let's go. Third ride on Mandrill Mayhem done, and I'm now heading to do some of the other rides here in the park. So I'd like to have a go on Zufari. I'd also like to do Vampire as well. Uh, last time I was here, I didn't vlog. Last time I was here was when I did the, the last construction update, but I didn't vlog that day. I did go on Vampire that day. Uh, so I'll go on again today, and then I'll give you my opinions on what I think of it, because before I rode it the other day, I hadn't been on it since 2018, I believe. So it, it had been a long time. Uh, so I'll give you my thoughts, and my thoughts may be different now on Vampire than they used to be. So yeah, stay tuned to see what I may or if my thoughts have changed or not. Maybe they've changed a little bit, maybe they've changed a lot. Uh, but yeah, I'd like to also go, go on Croc Drop again, because I really enjoy that ride, and it's not very often you see that with a small queue, so I'd like to do that again. Dragon's Fury's been closed all day, it's apparently coming back later, however, it's starting to get a bit later on in the day now, so I have a feeling it's not going to be long until they just say, you know, I'll forget about it, it's not going to it's not going to be ready by the time, uh, or it's not going to be worth opening, it's not going to be worth opening, so hopefully I'll get on that. I went on it last time I was here, but once again I wasn't vlogging, so yeah, I, I would like to get on there and share my 
opinions of it. If not, I'll just talk about it. You know, you know my thoughts on Dragon's Fury. I do really enjoy it. It's a great coaster. So yeah, here we go. I'm just by Vampire now. Let's go for a ride. Just done Vampire there then, so I've now had three rides on Vampire uh, since I started riding it and coming here to Chessington. Uh, so the first time I went on it, I found it really underwhelming to be honest, it was really quite boring. Then when I went on it a few weeks ago, I found it a lot more exciting, however it was very rough. This time, I was towards the front of the train and it's definitely smoother towards the front of the train because you don't get jerked through those arrow transitions as much. It's still not good on the front, however, it's bearable. Overall, I definitely prefer it to, uh, I, I definitely prefer it to how I did when I first rode it in 2018, however, it's still nowhere near one of my favourite, in fact, it's probably one of my least favourite coasters in the UK, to be honest. It is quite uncomfortable, however, it's not as bad as it was the first time I went on it, but definitely sit towards the front uh, for a smooth experience. I don't think you can choose your row, I wasn't able to choose my row then, but I think sometimes they might let you on a quiet day, even though today is quite quiet, but they didn't let me today, so uh, if you can try and get the front, definitely do, because it's much more comfortable there. I just had my fourth ride on Mandrill Mayhem and that was actually my first time in the back row. I don't think I've pointed it out in the vlog yet but you've probably seen it. But on the back row there is a backwards facing seat. As you can see here, there's an opposite facing seat. I just experienced that which means you go forwards up the spike over there and that was absolutely incredible. Going up the spike was amazing on the back row. In terms of the rest of the ride, I don't think it's particularly different uh, on the back row. However, going up that spike on the back is amazing. I really, really enjoyed that feeling. So, I've got another ride booked for Mandrill Mayhem, so I'm gonna be going on there again in about an hour. That's gonna be my last ride of the day because we've not got too much longer of the day. I'm gonna go and do some of the other rides around the park while I wait to maybe get some food, and then I'll head back on here for one final ride of the day. So with less than an hour and a half left of the day, Dragon's Fury opened and I was able to get on it. I waited about 20 minutes for it. And yeah, it's a good ride. I really like Dragon's Fury. Uh, not my favorite ride in the park anymore, of course. And it's also not the park's most recent coaster anymore. Uh, so there we go. But it's still a great ride. I really, really like it. A really good spinning coaster. I definitely prefer it to Spinball Wizard at Olden Towers. It has got a better layout than that. Yeah, really good coaster. Nice and smooth. It was really intense as well. We got some really good spinning on there as well. Uh, there was only three of us in the train. So we got some really, really good spinning. So I've just had my final ride of the day on Mandrill Mayhem, taking my total to five rides on there today, which I'm incredibly happy with. I was coming here today expecting that I was only going to get one ride because of this whole uh, one ride per person per day policy, but apparently that doesn't seem to be a thing, to, at least not today, so I don't know what's going on with that. Uh, hopefully that's going to be a thing every day because it's been great to get on that lots of times today. Uh, of course I got the backwards seat, I was on row three just, uh, yeah, really really good coaster and I love the whole area, it's absolutely incredible, really really immersive, really enjoy it, so many easter eggs around there as well, it's when you go through there a few times and go through the queue lines, uh, especially for Mandrill Mayhem a few times and you start to notice uh, the smaller details around there, things that you didn't notice before. 
But yeah, really, really like it. I'd say it's probably the best themed area Merlin have put into one of their uh, British theme parks. And I'd say it's probably my second favorite themed area in the UK after Tornado Springs and Poulton's Park. Really, really enjoyed it. Absolutely loved every second I've spent inside the world of Jumanji today. And of course, not forgetting the two other rides in there as well. Ostrich Stampede and Mamba Strike. Ostrich Stampede's operations definitely need looking at because when I was in the queue for that earlier, they were taking about five minutes to send it each time. They were just leaving it sat there for a couple minutes and not doing anything and nobody sitting in it. Then they'd take a couple minutes going around checking restraints and then they'd sit there for a little bit longer while you just wait there before they dispatch it and then you only get about a minute cycle. So yeah, an ostrich stampede could do with um, some, uh, some looks at the operations. However, it's a good ride when you're actually on it. I just wish it lasted a bit longer. And then Mamba Strike, of course, it's an okay ride as well. It's one of the better Miami ways I've been on. I do quite enjoy it. And I would go on there again, definitely, which isn't something I'd normally do with a Miami way. I would normally only do it once, if at all, to be honest, because they're all pretty much the same, aren't they? But it's really well themed. So there we go. Really, really happy with that. And I've got a nice mug for the area as well, which I'll show you in a minute. So then guys, that is now pretty much the end of this vlog here, however I will quickly just show you the mug that I got, even though I did show it briefly in the video earlier, but I'll go over a little bit more of the details on it. So this mug is absolutely fantastic here, so you can see you've got the World of Jumanji logo there, and then of course the handle wraps all the way around here, and there's a mamba there, well I assume it's a mamba, the fangs look about right. And the area does have a ride themed around Mambas. So there we go. And then you've got the park logo in there. Yeah, it's a really nice mug. If there is one thing I'd have to critique about this mug, I would like the face of the snake to be on the same side as the logo. So maybe if it wrapped around the other side and had the face about this point here maybe. That's the one thing I'd change about this, but yeah, I really like this, and it's good to see Merlin going more into detail when it comes to merchandise. So then, guys, that's now the end of this vlog here. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at George Kelly, follow me on Twitter at George Kelly, and check out my other YouTube channel at George Kelly. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe, everyone, and I will see you all later. Bye.